Hello there and welcome back. This is going to be a Python video and recently I had the task to collect uh, some information from the event viewer of Windows machines and as you may already know I'm kind of fond of Python so we have <laughs> a Linux management machine with a 3.7 Python so I, I would like to show you how I have uh, managed to solve that problem. So technically what we can do is to uh, basically install some dependency packages and these dependency packages are called WinRM packages. So Python 3.7-m pip install pywinrm and we will need the Kerberos sub package. So now that this is done, what we need to do is to create our script. So read events.py. And what I'm going to do is to import the WinRM package and we will create our session which will come from the winrm.session and we need to specify a machine name which is going to be the 2019b so technically this is a standalone machine in the workgroup section and I have the Ansible user set up so uh, this is a, a very simple demonstration without any domain membership involved so now we need to specify the authentication. So this authentication is going to be something is, that is called basic authentication. So we will specify a username and a password. And once we have the session, we have the option of running either a command shell command or a PS command. So in my situation, the obvious solution would have been to use the session that run ps but in our environment for whatever reason it is not or it does not seem to work so what i need to do is to find a workaround so as a workaround what i figured i would do is to wrap around the command shell the powershell dash c get event log command and if I issue this command it will ask for argument so the log name is going to be application and the newest 10 if I specify this it is going to give me the 10 of the latest uh, events in the application event log in the windows machine and if I go here under the Windows logs this is what I'm interested in this is not the exact task because that's kind of proprietary so I'm just trying to general uh, generalize it and what I needed to process was the exact message so if I go back once and I say that I would like to receive whatever the message property of this command is what I will be welcomed with is the following so these are all the messages that were emitted as the 10 latest and this is what I would like to retrieve in my Python script and process it further so let's get back to it. What we need to do is to specify or save or copy and paste this part here and use the run cmd. And what I would like to do is to invoke the PowerShell command. And if we want to pass arguments to a specific command, we need to do it in an array fashion. So first part of the array is the dash C, which tells PowerShell to run or execute a specific command. 
and the command that I would like to execute is the get event log dash log name application dash newest and I would like to receive the message property of the output and this is also uh, an, not a uniform solution because since PowerShell 3 if you do this it is going to work but <laughs> if you are on older versions than PowerShell 3 it is going to fail because what it does behind the scenes is that it expands the output of this command and filters down the message property of each output and it gives you a summarized result but before PowerShell 3 it was not performing this action in the background and the output didn't have the message property so it would have failed so to speak <laughs> And now, if you just save it as the output, what we can also do is to say that the, with an F string, of course, the status of the output is, and we will say that output that status code, and this is going to be the exit code of the command that you have specified in the run cmd argument and what we would also like to do is to let's say import from the pretty print module the pretty print function so we would like to see it as beautiful as possible and now we will create a separator so the separator is going to be a hashtag and we would like to have 50 of them and we will also need some closing hashtag and in between that what we would like to do is to pretty print whatever the output was and we would like to have the std out so the standard output and these are going to be of the type byte so what you need to do is decode it and after that you have decoded it you would like to split it based on the return carriage and new line character and now if we save it and we say that python 3.7 test not test read events dot py <laughs> What? I mean, it's supposed to work, but l let's not be greedy and just write it out. What? Why is it an invalid syntax? So we have our get event log and we have our f string and is this the problem? No. So we have our 2019 here and we have our run cmd and this is going to be an array and we will have our part here and uh, oh boy <laughs> i'm missing the closing bracket damn so let's write this back <coughs> let's clear it and run it where is the command and now what you see is the output of my command which I run via winram and now what I need to do is to add another p character here so we use the pretty print function and now if you check the output what you see 
is whatever we would have seen if we executed it in the command line or in the PowerShell, but we have this broken down into an array. And technically that's what I wanted to show you. So based on this small skeleton script, you could pretty much run any command and process the output. And the important thing to note is that whatever the user privilege allows, you can execute with the run CMD or run PS functions. And that was all. Thank you for